Hello guys, welcome to another video on the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called cousins of a given node. So you are given a binary tree and a node. You have to print all cousins of a given node in order of their appearance. So you don't have to print the siblings. So let's try to take an example to understand. Suppose the given node uh, that is is phi. Okay. So phi is having um, the parent which is 2. The parent of phi is 2. And 2 has 2 children, right? 4 and 5. So 4 is a sibling of 5 because they share a same parent. So in this case, um, 4 is a sibling of 5. But if you take a look at 6 and 7, they are cousins of 5 because they share a grandparent which is 1. So the grandparent of 5, 6 and 7 and 4 is common which is 1. But 4 is a sibling because 4 is also sharing a parent. So what is a cousin? A cousin is someone who shares a grandparent but does not share a parent. So you can see that the parent of 6 and 7 are different but uh, they share a grandparent. So we have to print 6 and 7 in this case because the cousins of 5 are 6 and 7. So how do we solve this problem? So one thing we can observe is they are all at the same level because they are all of the next generation so you can consider these are the generation z okay and this is the before generation and this is the first generation so when we notice this we can see that this are level by level traversal so we have generation one then we have generation two and we have generation three so in generation three there is only one thing that we have to take care of right which is a sibling we don't have to take that this is the note that we are looking for we don't have to take its sibling node, but we have to take the nodes which are the remaining other nodes. They will be the cousins. So in this case, the example will be 6 and 7. So first of all, we have to identify the current generation. So the current level, how are we going to do that? Maybe you would have guessed it. We are going to use a level order traversal. So how do we do a level order traversal? So we simply take a queue and we push the first node in the queue. Okay. Then we pop the current node. So this is level 1. Once we have finished the level 1, we pop that and we push its children in the queue. So let's push 2 and 3 in the queue. So we have pushed 2 and 3. Now here we will notice that the child of 2 is 5. So the child of 2 is 5. So whenever we know that 2 is the parent of 5, you don't have to push the children of 2 because 4 will be a sibling of 5. We don't want siblings. We only want cousins. Okay. So you don't have to push the children of 2 in the queue. You can simply pop out 2. Don't push the children of 2. Just pop out 2. Okay. Now we will come to node 3. So 3 is there in the queue. So you can push the children of 3 because 3 is okay. 3 is not the parent of the node that we are looking for. So we will pop 3 and we will push his children 6 and 7. Also now we will stop the iteration. We have got the cousins that we were looking for. So this is the simple logic. So let's start coding it. So what we are going to do, we will first code the simple level order traversal and then we will modify the code there. And the time complexity and space complexity will be O of n because at max you can traverse n nodes. So uh, let us start with the level order traversal. So we have to declare a queue and queue will be of node star type and we will simply call it queue. So in the queue first we will push the first node root. Okay. And the simple way to do level order traversal is while the queue is not empty, right? Keep traversing and keep pushing the nodes one by one. So we will do this. So uh, first let me get the size of the uh, current queue and then so in one level, right? There are going to be n nodes. For example, in the first level, n is going to be one because there are going to be one nodes in the first level. In the next time, in the next uh, uh, iteration, n will be two because there are going to be two uh, children in the level two and so on, right? So this will keep on changing. In the next time, there are going to be four children. It depends on the particular uh, given uh, data, but in our example, uh, all the four children are existing. So n will be four, okay? And so on. So n is just the size of the queue so for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus we are going to iterate over all the nodes okay and we are going to grab the current node so let me just quickly grab the current node and how we do that is we just grab the current node using q dot front once we have grabbed the current node we can pop it we don't need it now we need its children so let's just push its children so q dot push nodes children and what are nodes children just the left and the right values are the nodes children right 
so that's it now here we have to note one thing this may not always exist right so you will have to give this condition if nodes left exist then only you will have to push it because it can also be null it's not necessary that the children will exist so you will have to check for that condition if it exists then only you will have to push it okay so this is the code for simple level order traversal but this is not going to give you the answer because see first of all we have to check for the node to find so how are we going to check it so let us check here see if let's say if node to find right so we will check the node so if node is equal, so we don't have to check the node because we have to check the parent node so what is the logic in this question is see whenever we are traversing in the queue right what we were doing whenever we found two okay let's see the logic again whenever we found two if the child okay the child of two is five so if the child is the node that i'm looking for right i don't have to push its children otherwise i have to push its children right so that is a condition that i have to check so if nodes left is equal to uh, node to find right so if my child is the node that i'm looking for then i don't have to push its children that is a simple logic okay so in that case see in that case i don't have to do this line of code because this line of code is pushing the children so here i will give a else condition okay so this is the else condition i have to push the children only when this above condition is not satisfied when it is safe to push the children because if i find find the node i don't have to push the children then what will i do i will uh, keep a variable right let me keep a variable bool okay let me just take a variable okay let me call it marker initially marker will be true okay so whenever marker is true that means uh, it is uh, safe right we can keep doing the iterations so whenever marker becomes false right that means we have to stop the iteration because we have found the node that we are looking to find we no need to continue with the iterations okay that's it that is a simple logic now let us uh, come in exit from here so once we exit from here we have to just check if the queue is empty or not because for example in this case uh, what will happen is given node is phi and phi has no cousins right so in this case you have to return minus one so just check if the queue is empty in that case return minus one okay else you have to return the cousins and you have to return them in the form of a vector so let me take answer and while node of q dot empty i am going to push the value okay so i'm going to get the front value i'm going to get its data and i'm going to push it in answer okay so that's it and once i push the values in the answer i can just pop it out and i after all the citations i can return answer so that's it let me submit and see if it is working so i guess it's passing all the test cases that's it thank you for being patient and listening